a beautiful place. Got a bike coming at me here. Two bikes. Two bikes that I can see. I'll just pull off here and make room for them. Hope for the, oh, it's ATVs. It looks like they're making room for me. All right. Thank you. Got one more. <laughs> oh, this is steeper than I'm sure it looks. I just think this is a beautiful area and a beautiful trail. And there's miles and miles of it out here. This area is so big, it's even got three names depending on where you're at. Whoa! That tire tried to wash out underneath me. This is still the stock front tire. But this is the last season for it. <laughs> I'm going to try and milk it through this fall and then uh, either over the winter or next spring before I get it back out again. I'm going to put new rubber on it front and back. So pretty. The act of riding the bike is fun to me. I'm not going to say that it's not, but I really come out and do this for the scenery. It's getting tight down here. These plants love this water. <laughs> oh. Uh. This is one of those spots that I always wonder how an ATV fits through here. <laughs> but apparently they do because I can see tracks <laughs> it's got to be tight though you know, I've ridden this trail a few times but I won't say I'm super familiar with it there's always a pretty decent sized gap between times of riding it. Okay, so I remember this spot. <laughs> it's a little deeper than usual, but it's always, this place has always got water in it, it seems like. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I've been through this before. Um, there's a little spot off here to the right, just past this knob that sticks out. Little skinny trail that you can get up and on the side there. I've done that before. You end up in the trees and it gets kind of tight. You can also just go right through the water, which is probably what I'm gonna do. It's fairly deep, but it's also level. Um, you're gonna wanna, I don't wanna say hit it fast, but don't go too slow because the, the, the bottom's muddy and you'll just start squirreling around. And if you want to, you can maybe hug this left side a little bit yeah. or the right, either one. I mean, I, I've been through it both ways and neither one of them was all that bad, so. <laughs> There's a little more water in it than what I'm used to, but not much. Yep. Ah. 
Watch me make a mess of it. It's deeper than it was before. <laughs> I went up over my headlight. Woo! Refreshing. Yes. If we're hot, well, we're not hot anymore. All right. Might be hard pressed to keep up with him. I know when we get on the gravel roads, he's quicker than I am. Got water splashed all the way up on my goggles. <laughs> Steve, you the man. Ugh. See, I don't want to say he's fearless, but the guy is, he's got more guts than I've got. I envy him. I'm, I'm jealous. <laughs> Let's see if I can film him here. I can keep up with him. Yeah, Steve's a good rider and a good friend. He's a good guy. Everybody I've ridden with has been good. Super Dave's awesome. Spoke, hoping to be riding with him today, but he has some things come up. Couldn't make it. Fairface is working. Tommy's working. They're all good guys. Brandon is a business owner. He's busy. That's always a dilemma I have. Finding people who can ride when I can ride because of my work schedule. Steve here, it works with him because he's retired. <laughs> I'm jealous about that too. Oh, wow, that was muddy. He left a four inch deep rut in that. 